Hey guys, what's up? Scream Kid 101 here today, and uh, it's a nice day out, so I decided I'd do a few mask videos. Of course, there's weird background noises because of my wonderful neighbors. <laughs> um, but uh, here is my BCD, which is mid conversion right now. This is how I display it uh, without straps. Um, just these uh, wall. Uh, you put these up on the wall and the ceiling, they're just little uh, screws, uh, but they work really well for putting in the straps, or uh, where the original straps would be, which I took out. And I just put a screwdriver on the back of this foam head, so it stabilizes it. Got it up on a bucket here. Um, I got a West G out here also, uh, which I'll make another video on, there's some cats. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, I haven't taken out the eyes yet because they are rusted. So I'm either going to have to bust them or find a way to get rid of the rust. Uh, which can be done, of course. Uh, but so far all I've done is taken off the straps. And uh, taken out the filter here. Which makes the mask really heavy, surprisingly. That filter uh, weighs quite a bit for being on a gas mask. Uh, but keep in mind, this thing is from... Uh, the era of World War II, um, and could possibly, uh, it's most likely used during World War II, which is why a lot of people don't like converting these, uh, but too bad. So hopefully I'm going to have this strapped by a good friend of mine, known him for a few years, uh, Ryan Vernon of Nightmare Fuel Studios here on YouTube, go check him out. Uh, but hopefully he will be strapping this for me uh, in a coming month or so. And then I will have a uh, fully accurate Sid Wilson BCD. This was used uh, first in the self-titled era and has been used since uh, quite a bit. Sid has used uh, a lot of different gas masks and uh, of course the uh, Iowa skull mask, um, the robot mask, the other skull mask. Uh, and then the current Bob Bassett mask. Um, but through all the gas masks he's used, I, uh, the most, the one you'll most commonly see is the British Civilian Duty gas mask, which is this one, of course. Uh, he used this one a lot. I believe he still uses this sometimes, because there, there are recent photos of him wearing his BCD, which is cool. Uh, these masks are pretty rare. Uh, they can go for... Uh, about 80 bucks upwards. I got this for $46, uh, but the straps were rotting. Like the uh, back panel that was seen in the back where all the straps connect uh, was crumpling apart, so I decided just to remove the straps um, and display it like this. Uh, it looks really good without the filter. Like, uh, you can accept this as its own mask and not as a slipknot mask. This one's actually in pretty good condition. There's not a lot of rot except for uh, right here. Uh, in the center of it. I'm trying to get it to focus well for you. There are a few minor cracks. Uh, this one doesn't have a flapper valve either. I didn't buy it uh, with a flapper valve on the nose, so that was not originally there. Uh, but other than that, everything was original on it. So that makes it pretty cool. I still have the filter. Uh, I think I have the strap somewhere still. Uh, maybe I don't know if I still have the straps, but I do have the filter for sure um, And these are really easy con to convert uh, besides the straps which are leather uh, Like you know most slipknot masks uh, the converted ones and I can't believe who did who did those um, but it was Somebody did them for I believe I want to say Chris Sid Jim uh, maybe Craig, I don't know. A few of them, there was a guy that did the conversions, and that's why a lot of them have the leather straps, I'd imagine. Uh, it just looks cool, too. I, the leather strapping looks great on these masks. Uh, but yeah, this is my mid-convert uh, conversion uh, BCD. This was worn by Sid Wilson. Uh, that's how it's famous. Uh, so yeah, thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next video, and bye-bye.